So, homework. It's something that all of us have had to deal with. All of those countless nights of doing work as an extension of the school day. But is it as important as school makes it out to be? Today, I'm researching as wide of a scope as I can to find out. I'm interviewing several students and teachers to find out what people think about homework and researching several cold hard facts to reach and end the debate once and for all. Without further ado, let's get started. But before I begin interviewing, we need to talk about homework's history. Homework has existed since the beginning of schooling as a whole, as early as 1095. In the United States, formal schooling homework has also existed from a very early point and hasn't disappeared since. Homework's relevance throughout history hasn't always been for the same purpose, however. Sometimes homework is assigned for preparation for a future lesson, other times it's given as a punishment. Regardless of the reason, homework has been one of the main constants of school life, with the general public having an unchanging opinion for its use. Right? No. Homework has actually gone back and forth from being accepted to being rejected several times over and over again since the 1900s. When the 1900s began, homework was viewed favorably as it was considered an extra tool to strengthen the brain. Then, during the 1940s, homework became less popular due to it being associated with repetition. Then, homework became favorable again after the Soviet Union's launch of Sputnik in the mid-1950s, as it was considered a way to accelerate knowledge acquisition. Then, ten years later, in the 1960s, homework once again became unfavored as it took up time that could be used for other things like social experiences and creative activities. Then, homework became favored again in the 1980s, where the National Commission on Excellence in Education reported that homework was a counter to educational mediocrity. This was further pushed in the 1990s with increasingly challenging academic standards until we reached the 2000s, where homework was once again and viewed negatively due to parents' concerns of homework-induced stress on their children. So with that out of the way, it's time to get into the interviews. With all the people that I interviewed, I asked for their opinions on homework first, and this is what they said. Homework is like the devil in me. I think it's lame. Uh, no. no. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily say I like homework, but uh, I definitely don't. I, I understand where the teachers are coming from, you know, giving it to I mean, I don't mind homework too much, as long as it doesn't really uh, take away a ton of my free time. <laughs> Some of it I like, it's really easy. Huh. Like, others, it's like really hard. Oh. Um. Uh, yeah, I actually do enjoy doing homework. So, as expected, most students that I interviewed did not like homework. There were a couple more students that I interviewed that weren't shown, but they were all on the dislike side. And in hindsight, it makes sense. After going through the long drone of school for a whole six and a half hours, why would anyone be happy with doing more work after school is done? While homework has been suggested to help increase academic achievement among other benefits, the positives are heavily countered by the very real burnout and stress that can result from homework being too difficult or too much. Speaking of too much, I also asked students how much homework they got every night, and this is what they had to say about that. 40 minutes of homework. 25, 30 Two hours. Two, three hours. An hour of homework per night? Probably about an hour. Two hours per night. Two hours worth of homework, at least. Same. So, there isn't a definitive amount of homework that students get per night, and that's to be expected. The amount that students get can vary by large amounts, depending on the level of the classes they take, what types of classes they take as a whole, and the types of homework given. As mentioned before, homework's purpose can differ from time to time, but the main reason why teachers give homework is... I want the students to be unhappy for as much of the day as possible. And then I want to assign about, you know, anywhere from three and a half to four and a half hours of absolute misery so they can continue to be miserable even when I'm not, you know, directly influencing them. I'm only kidding. The main purpose for some of the teachers at this school is to prepare for a future lesson or allow better understanding of a current one. 
I try to implement the homework by having um, students complete things like reading and studying outside of the classroom so that when we're actually together as a class, uh, we can do more analyzing and breaking apart of the reading that was already completed. So I don't really want to use class time uh, to read where we're, we're going to sit here and watch each other read. You know, I'd rather have the students read at home and then when they come to class, now we can really sort of dissect it and take it apart and, and pick each other's brains about, you know, something that we all have in common, which should be the text we read last night. Most teachers look at homework as one of two ways, either a, a review of items and information that was covered in class that day, uh, but also homework is seen as kind of the, uh, uh, it's implemented to help students understand where they're going to be talking about the next day. So I, I make homework a very relevant piece of the class, so I try to make the homework mirror exactly what the students are going to see on the future quiz and test, and I try to make it relevant immediately after we talked about a topic. So it's pretty much a regular thing in my class. While some teachers, like Mr. Stout, try to accommodate a student's home life and not give out as much homework, other teachers, like Mr. Hans, have it as a key and sizable part of their lesson plans. It's always been my belief that a student has prioritized. Family comes first. Um, uh, you know, many kids have uh, jobs now, especially now that I'm juniors and seniors. Uh, they have sports, and there's a, a plethora of other activities that we expect kids to be involved in in order to be a well-rounded student. That doesn't leave a whole lot of time for homework uh, after school. Probably in the course of a week, I'll give maybe two times out of the four times I'll assign them. Right? It's not going to be anything that's going to be over probably 20 or 30 minutes long, but it's going to be enough that's going to keep them um, I think in sync with what we're doing in class, either the previous day or the upcoming day. I would say my target is based upon the level of the class. Um, so the honors classes, I try to target anywhere from like 15 to 30 minutes of chemistry <laughs> each night. Uh, CPA, probably like 20 minutes I try to max it at. And for the CP course, most of the homework is more or less lab assignments. So there's a lot less homework at that level. So, with teachers like Mr. Hans implementing homework as a common part of the classroom, does it actually help with students' grades? The findings that people have done all point to different answers. Some studies point to homework being a detriment to academic achievement, while others show that it's an improvement, and even more show no statistical improvement or detriment at all. According to a 2004 study, other countries like Japan and Finland often have less homework signed than in America. Despite the common myth or thought that more homework equals better test scores, these countries actually outperform America in international testing. Another study found that homework does provide academic benefits, but only for those in middle or high school, as younger students benefit more from non-academic realms. I guess the final answer is, we still don't have a final answer yet. There are so many factors regarding homework that we haven't been able to reach a conclusive answer that takes everything into account. There's both positives and negatives of homework no matter which way you look at it, and it doesn't look like homework is going anywhere in the meanwhile. Thanks for tuning into this documentary, and have a good day.